in the days before texts and social media, writing a love letter was the ultimate way to express your feelings. That is the basis of the play Love Letters, and some very familiar faces are starring in a Valentine's Day performance. Welcome to meteorologist John Scalzi and his wife Linda Larson. Mm. Oh, welcome, guys. Thank you. It's so amazing. You still like each other. <laughs> I know. It's refreshing. I love when the two of you get together. Yes. yes. Now, of course, there's a part of your life, you're starring in this play, that we sort of forget about. You two were professional actors before you took on your present roles. Well, she's yeah. more professional than I was. <laughs> she graduated <laughs> from the Oslo. I, I, was, know. I was more of a hack. She was a pro. No, uh, not true. I may have worked a little more, but that's all. That's yes, all look yes. at you, John. Oh, that God. is John Scalzi. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Really? Come Seriously? Come on. Wow, oh, you had, you had to go way you, back, didn't you? Ooh, awesome. Like Tony you Danza. Here, you were an actor. <laughs> what show is this, John? Cute legs. Uh, that was funny thing happened on the way to the forum back when there was a country dinner playhouse oh. dinner theater in uh, St. Petersburg, Florida. So, oh. 1978, you know, I believe. They they actually, we had dial telephones back then and no <laughs> computers. <laughs> Don't you want to see a, a, a big caption under it that says, it's theater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now here we go, Linda. This is Linda. I, that is with Gail Gordon. You remember him? He played Mr. Mooney on The Lucy Show. Oh, I yes. played his daughter, and what a gracious, uh, professional, wonderful man. I loved him so much. That was in, uh, oh, I don't remember when that was. Alhambra. Was uh, that at the Alhambra who, in Jackson? It was at the Alhambra. Yes, yes. Who that was, was um, As You Like It. I played uh, Celia. And that was in the Forest of Arden. And in that was my friend Eva Patton. Oh, 88, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just well, after the Eva dial Patton. tone went away. <laughs> oh, you were lovely. We forget about all that and hear you back on stage again. So tell us the story of Love Letters. You go. Well, you know, uh, last year we were, we were kind of talking over the course of the years that we'd like to do something together. And so uh, we looked around for years trying to find a piece that was suitable, you know, for two folks like us, and uh, somebody suggested love letters, and we thought, oh, that sounds fantastic. And so we decided that, you know, with the Players Theater that we both loved, you know, Linda has had uh, a, a lot of history with, that um, it would be kind of neat to do a, uh, a one-time only um, fundraiser. benefit, fundraiser for them, which we did. Plus, uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful, amazing play that was uh, up for a Pulitzer Prize, and you don't have to memorize a script. So it seemed oh. perfect to me. <laughs> What's the story about, Linda? Ah, so this, it, it, it is a snapshot of the life of these two characters when they first met in probably first grade, and they started exchanging letters that their parents made them write. Thank you for the birthday gift. Will you please come to my party? This is Valentine for you. So it starts with those letters, and then through the years, you, you just track their relationship with when they're in high school, and then they go away to prep schools, and they're still trying to meet up at the summer, and, and then they get older and they get married and not to each other but they still maintain this relationship and it is complex and delicious and heartfelt and amazing story an amazing story what's it like it. to be on stage the two of you together playing oh, awesome. different characters no it, it's awesome you know because you're still communicating even you're using somebody else's words but it's it's still great you know i mean some people bowl some people golf. <laughs> we sit around. We read, read plays. plays. <laughs> yeah, that's but you know the amazing. thing is, it's about it's about uh, it's about a relationship. It's about two people who love each other yeah. and have issues, but still have this connection. Well, we have that. Yeah, so that's it's love. Ju we're just drawing on our own life experience and our own love for each other so yeah. it's perfect you started yeah. two years ago doing a one-time only thing for the player center mm -hmm. how's that changed over the last two years uh, <laughs> <laughs> doubled in size no. <laughs> but how's you approach doing, the doing show now. like you know and now yeah. that you've done it together the, that's the, funny the you before. say that yeah you know because we were starting to rehearsal here we you know reading at home and uh we are picking up a lot of different things now you know i guess because We've aged another year and grown another year, and we see more depth in this play, I think, than we saw a year ago. But the writing is so fantastic. I mean, it doesn't, whoever you put in this play, it's still going to be a great time because the writing is so rich and so beautiful. And 
Everybody who sees it will hear the words of this great author and just be touched. Oh, this sounds like something we do not want to miss. It's going to be fun. You guys, oh, it will be. You can see Love Letters with John and Linda on stage together. It's Valentine's Day, February 14th at the Players Center, so go to their website for ticket information. Next, we're going to keep these lovebirds with us for a little bit longer and play a game with them. <laughs> oh.